Keep an eye on that because there's a lot going on this weekend. Some events are indoors, though, including this one. The Topeka Center for Peace and Justice is bringing men together for an event just for them. Carl Frazier, Pastor Gabe Pennington, and Trenton James are all here to tell us about the male factor. And Carl, this is something you guys did earlier this year. You're bringing it back. What is it all about? How, it must have been popular to, to have it held again. Yeah, it's about popular demand. Um, when we uh, did a survey uh, after the first one we done, everybody said, this is something we should do every quarterly. And we are excited about it um, this year. Uh, th this Saturday, our new uh, city manager going to be there, Dr. Perez, and some other important leaders from the city are going to be there. And we are all excited. But one of the things that, um, you know, males really don't have an opportunity to speak out what they want to speak out. And also opportunity to mentor young people. You know, we had Boy Scouts there last time too. And man, they had a good time. <laughs> Not only with the good time, but they had a good time eating too. <laughs> well, that's always hard. There's food involved in the event, which is successful. I learned that in college. Food at your event. Gabe, what is your role in the event and what would you like to see your focus be? Well, the first time I, I went, I was able to bring my, my 12 year old. And, oh. uh, and I think it's, it's a great opportunity to, to have those intentional conversations, those things that you think Think about that you don't always have time to talk through and, what and tell some of those you, topics? Uh, just like how do you handle disappointment how do you handle when you feel down uh, how do you when you when you feel those big feelings how do we as men handle those in, in healthy good ways and thinking through we all go through those ups and downs and we do have community and there's a lot of wisdom and that's what my favorite part about it is the the diversity of the wisdom so my my boy could not just hear from me but from other men too Awesome. And Trenton, what was your role and what will your role be this time around? So my role the first year was as a uh, actual panel member and I was one of the people who provided input, answered questions and things of that nature. This year I'll be functioning as the MC of the uh, process. Um, I have over 20 years of professional experience working in the criminal justice system and as a male I understand the importance of us having healthy males or males who are focusing on becoming healthy to raise families and work jobs and just live lives like normal, you know, normal people choose to do. But from time to time as men, we have a complex where we want to be a Superman and we don't show people that it's okay for us to bleed and okay for us to cry and have emotions and feelings. And this, I believe is a really important opportunity for us to share those opportunities with, you know, members or people who actually show up for the presentation or the, uh, the male factor. So how will the conversation, since you get to be the one guiding everyone along, how are you going to make those conversations flow this weekend? What can people expect? So we do have a list of questions that are already prepared, but we just like to make it a holistic um, experience. So if there are people who are a part of the uh, panel or even individuals who are there as participants have questions, they can raise their hand and just speak up. We want to make sure it's a, a safe environment where people actually have the opportunity of having questions answered but then also finding out about resources in the community that can actually help them become successful. How important to you, Gabe, as you think back on your experience, is it for that intergenerational experience as well? Because this isn't just for adults. Right, yeah, we had, I was thinking like, it's important for old men to go, it's important for middle-aged men to go, for young men, and for boys that will become men, to, to think through those things ahead of time. And I really appreciate the, the panels, but then also the small group conversation. So you hear from expert men, uh, but then you also hear from the people sitting at your table, and. That's very valuable. Yeah, sharing ideas and questions yes. and concerns and, and solutions yes. among yourselves as well, which is what this is all geared toward, right, Carl? Right. How does this play into the mission of the Center for Peace and Justice? You know, in the past, we always look at people who have touched the criminal justice system. Now we're trying to do more preventive work, going into communities, try to talk to these young people and, and try to bring uh, all the ages together so we can communicate before these, these youth touch the criminal justice system. And you know, before there's always money for the kids who have touched the criminal justice system, but never been too much for money out there for people, to, for youth to prevent it. So this is a perfect opportunity for more what we call preventive work. Mm -hmm. and that upstream a, approach. Uh, yeah, yeah, and so they can have a connection in the community. And we, I'm so happy that we have all diversity of uh, people uh, in the group and on the panel and also the round tables also, you don't have a panel, but also there'll be a round table where kids can talk one-on-one -on -one with, the, with, the, with the table leader. Well, it's a meaningful conversation, a few hours of your time. Is there a fee for it, Carl? 
No, it's free. Free, we like free, because there's food involved as well. <laughs> the mail factor is from 10 until 1 this Saturday at First Baptist Church, 3033 Southwest McVicker. They do appreciate advanced registration. I have that link on WIBW.com, but Carl, they can just show up if they'd like as just well. Just show up. Awesome. I'd like to say this. Happy birthday, Gabe. Thank you. Happy birthday. <laughs> well, we like birthday celebrations, birthday too. Birthday. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for sharing your birthday with Thank us. You. I don't have cake. Anyhow, we will get you ready for fall.